All kids out of the pool for adult swim. All kids out. Amelia, what are you doing in the den, dear? Nothing, Dad. I'll be done in a minute. I'm just cooking. In the den? I mean reading. In the den? I like to read and think in here. In the den? Good night, Dad. Go to bed. <sighs> Good. Oh, what beautiful diamonds. Now I just have to get these to the hotel before my father knows they're missing. Please forgive me, Father. What? Are you talking to me, Amelia? No, Dad. Stay right there. I'll bring you some more milk. Amelia. Dad, I I'm going to bed. Good night. Well, I'll walk you upstairs. Thanks. What's in the bag, dear? What bag? The bag in your hand right there. Is... Oh, this bag. Yeah, just stuff. Go to bed. Okay, I'm very tired. Good. But first, I want to check on my diamonds. For what? You're right. Let's go to bed. Is that your flashlight? Huh? Is that your flashlight right there on the floor in front of your safe? No. Okay, let's go to bed then. All right, cut, cut. Guys, that was great. That felt pretty good. Uh, did that feel good? Yeah. Once we shoot on location, this thing is going to be incredible. Uh, so y you guys all set for the field trip? Do you have your permission slips? Oh, yeah. I've, I've got mine laminated. You got yours laminated. I don't know, Brandon. What if we get in trouble? Look, we, we're not going to get in trouble, so it, it doesn't matter. Well, I'm just nervous about it. Melissa, it's just a hotel. People shoot movies in hotels all the time, so it's... Oh, listen, don't worry about it. Getting the shot is the only thing that matters. All we have to do is get the shot. Brandon, I... is that supposed to be some sort of pep talk? Because uh, i got to tell you, it's not making me feel any better. Uh, well, I have a laminating machine at home. Oh. Well, things plugged in. Electricity seems to be working. Come on, you stupid. Ow! Cheap. Ugh. Hey, McGurk has that joke coming. <laughs> I uh, can't navigate through my geography class without my caffeine co pilot. <laughs> hey, when do you think that fuel will be ready for pumping, eh? <laughs> hey, Fink, you know how to work this thing? <sighs> what is it, plugged in? Big Eric? Yeah, it's plugged in. I can't help you then. I'm not a mechanic. Oh, uh, that's great. Fam. Ow! God, my hand! <laughs> hey, I didn't want mine to go, huh? Principal Plum! Beautiful morning, isn't it? Coffee machine is on the uh, fritz again. So I threw it on your car. Sorry. Is it, uh. Can you check if it's working? No? I know this is only a sitcom, but n nobody can be that stupid. Hey, Brendan. You know, um, Mr. Lynch called me today. Mr. Lynch? Mm-hmm. You mean my Mr. Lynch? You don't own him. Yes, I do. He's mine. Why did he call you? I wanted to know if I could be a supervisor on your field trip to the hotel. <laughs> Boy, that's a that's a good one. Uh, it, what did he say when you when you told him no? He said thank you because I didn't tell him no. I told him yes. <sighs> Man, well, well, why are you going on my field trip, then? You don't want to go. No, no, That's... I'm not going on your field trip. I'm chaperoning your field trip, Brendan. But, Mom, why do you want to go? You've been to hotels millions of times. It's my duty as a parent to help out. Mm, no, it isn't. Yeah, it is. No, no, you shouldn't have to help out at all. That's why we, we pay taxes. I'm a much better citizen than that. Uh, Mom, look, there's going to be kids running wild all over the place, and you don't have to chase them around, and, you know, you're way too old for that stuff. I'm not too old, Brendan. I'm young and vibrant. I can keep up with any eight-year-old kid. And at least I know I won't have to worry about you and Jason and Melissa, right? Let's just pay a little more attention to the TV and, and not so much attention on talking, okay? Mm, sorry. So, Mr. McGurk, tell me something about yourself. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, well, 
You mind if I have a look at that application? Oh, sure. sure. Just, you know, refresh my memory. I've... Uh -huh. I graduated USC, as it says here. Oh. And I uh, fought in the Gulf War. Gulf War? Yeah. I went to UCLA myself. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful country. Well, I'm sold. Well, me too. I think you're our new night manager, Mr. McGurk. Well, that's great. When do I... Well, well, let me, uh, hold on there. One, one second. Let Can't me just wait check. To put the tie on. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Let me just see what the old background check turned up. Uh, da -de -da. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Mr. McGurk. Yeah, all right. I'm sorry, but you've got quite a history here. All these fines and arrests and... Drunken disorderly, drunken disorderly. Oh, right. Well, I, wait a minute. Before you go jump in the gun. I'm here. afraid that's not what we had in mind. That's a family restaurant. <laughs> Look, sir, I'll be honest with you, all right? I went a little mental the other day, and I need 1700 bucks to pay for some damages. Look at my hands. Empty. It's out of my hands. I can't help you, Mr. McGurk, unless you wanted to order some food. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay, there's a... Uh... It's been a little monkey thrown into the mix. I think you mean monkey wrench. Nope, I mean the whole monkey. My, my mother is going on the field trip. Why? She's helping Mr. Lynch, so now we have to be extra sneaky. So make sure you memorize all your lines. <sighs> Brendan, I'm uh, not really good at memorizing lines. Yeah, it's, me well, neither. You know Mary had a little lamb? Yeah. She did. I still haven't memorized it. Look, we have to, guys, because we only get one shot to, at each scene because there's going to be adults everywhere and we're going to be sneaking around. So, you know, we have one chance to do it right. And, you know, we've got about 37 scenes to shoot. So, guys, we got to, you know. That's a lot of scenes. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe maybe we'll uh, cut a couple out. I don't know which one. Hey, Brenda, do you have the scene right when you're sleeping? Yeah. Maybe that one could, um... <laughs> Yeah, but it's important because we have the scene where I wake up, so... Uh, just a suggestion. I'm, I'll take another look at the script. The scene with you on the bidet, it's funny, but it definitely could go. Well, let's not go overboard here. We're gonna need some scenes to have a movie. I love coaching, you know? I mean, I'm in it for the kids. You know, sometimes I say to the school, don't pay me, <laughs> but they don't listen. You know, but that's the kind of worker I am. I'm loyal trustworthy and uh, noteworthy. Well, your background check came through clean as a whistle, Mr. Small. Welcome to Galaxy Coffee. Wow, thanks. That's great. Please call me Brendan. OK, uh, this here is your list of kids. Uh, I've got them in alphabetical order, yeah, uh, Allison, Brendan. No, no, no. Actually, Paula, they are in the order of most likely to run away. OK, yeah, see the first name on the list, Allison? Yeah. Yeah, so Allison would be the first most likely kid to run away. Oh, OK. Which one is Allison again? Uh, she would be the one across the street getting into that cab. Uh, so you might want to. Uh, Allison, you know. get over here. Wait, wait for the light. Uh, okay, it, it's okay, Paula. Rookie mistake. <laughs> Why is Brendan next on the list? Uh, well, Brendan is, uh, well, let's just say you're going to have to keep an eye on him. <laughs> Please, Mr. Lynch, my own son, I can handle him. Hmm. Where is he, anyway? I gotta pee! Wait, did Brendan get off the bus already? I can't wait! It's a bodily function! Bodily functions don't wait! Okay, go inside, but come right back. Perry's gonna be sick. I have seasickness. I keep telling him we're on land, but he won't listen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Land or sea, I get seasick oh, on the bus. Okay, fine, fine. Then hurry up. Follow Fenton to the bathroom. Go, go quickly. Brendan, Brendan. Fenton, wait for us. Wait for us. I'm seasick. No. Perry's sick. I'm sick, Fenton. Have mercy. Don't follow me. I've got to pee. Perry, he's getting away. Hurry. It makes me sick when I run. Okay, ah. you walk. I'll run, Perry. Yeah, Mr. Lynch, do you have Walter and Perry on your list? They're, they're not on my oh, list. I don't bother listing oh. them. Run they never yeah. run away. Perry? Never? Yeah. Perry? Yeah, Walter? If you throw up, I'll throw up. Okay, let's both throw up at the same time. Count of three. Ready? Okay. Morning, ma'am. Are you staying with us for business or pleasure? Both. That would be pleasure. Yes. Or pleasness. Yes, tell me something, Bellhop. Has Mr. Hutchinson checked in yet? Yes, he has. Good, thank you. Will there be anything else, ma'am? No, I think that's all. Okay. <clears throat> oh, here you go. Daddy's got these. Thank you for your help. Uh, Daddy has six kids. Yeah, I'm, I'm all cleaned out. All right. Well, thank you. Enjoy your stay at the Mystery Hotel. Cut. Beautiful. Let's move. Can I get my money back? No. Brendan! Oh, Brendan! Wait. 
Brendan, what are you doing over here? Nothing, nothing. Stay with the group. I'm counting on you guys to okay, help me okay, out. Okay. Where's Allison? Um. Allison! Allison, get down from there! We're in trouble, Brendan. No, 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 no. no. relax. Don't We're fine. Jump. We're fine. Wait. We're fine. Don't I worry. knew this was a mistake. Much obliged, sir. Well, oh, not bad. Now we need to sneak into a room. Brendan, I gotta take this upstairs. <laughs> the streets of Tokyo, the rules of racing have changed. It's called drifting. And if you want to win... Who's the tourist? I want to see what the kids got. You have to lose control. Woo! Now what, Pope? Come on! The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Rated PG-13. Starts June 16th. Honor. Vengeance. Justice. Power. The time for war has come. Choose your side. Join the battle. Star Wars The Old Republic. Rated T for T. So I grab him and I have his big guys, but I grab him by the shirt and I said, you don't do that in my hotel. And I threw him up. And that's the story. Any question? Yeah. I want to see you throw somebody out. Well, uh, the days are early, but I might be throwing uh, you out. Ha ha. Throw somebody out. Listen, little boy. It's uh, not good when I throw somebody out. I don't like that side of the business, but I do it. I do it because it's important for the other people in the hotel to feel safe, okay? Just throw one person out, please. Uh, <clears throat> excuse, uh, excuse me. Uh, hi. I'm, uh, well, I'm, I'm locked out. Uh, my parents left and locked me out of my room number 24, and if you could open it, that would be tremendous, okay? Um, I'll, I'll be right over in front of my room number 24. Uh, waiting with my uh, friends uh, who are sick. Okay, thanks. Okay, okay. That's uh, you made your point. Okay, all right. Okay, yes. This is how you throw somebody out. Oh, uh, okay. A little tight. A little tight. I've got the diamonds now. Give me back the pictures, you blackmailer. Not so fast, Amelia. Give me the pictures. Well, that's slower. <laughs> it's very funny, and I like a gal with a sense of humor, li like you, like a girl like yourself, like one of you. Uh, cut. Hi, my name's Clarice. Well, my name's Brendan Small. Got it? Brendan Small. My boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Well, that's cute. So what's up, Clarice? I'm gonna train you, but I don't mean like in a health club. Yeah, I, I didn't think you did since we're in a coffee shop. All right, so this is the uh, coffee maker, right? I gotta warn you, I don't get along with coffee machines. And you're staring at me. I know. My boyfriend says I stare. Well, it's because you do. Now stop it. It's creepy. I'm going to college next year. My boyfriend's already in college. Well, it's exciting, Clarice. Now will you please stop staring at me? And you really should blink. Because blinking shows that you're human. All right? If in your father gets the things, then he'll do with something quicker and a something fast. Fine. Just keep going. I don't care how many pictures you have of you'll, me. Oh, and you'll run over the thing and you'll do stuff and I'll do stuff back and there won't be any stuff left to do. I'm not going to steal for you anymore. 
All right, okay. Yes, will you rob the hotel safe for me, please? It would be really good if you would do that for me. Thanks. You don't scare me. I saw my fiancé downstairs, which means he's coming to save me, and the jig is up. He's not here to save you, little darling. Your fiancé is having an affair with the maid. No, he's not. Why do you think I chose this hotel? I don't know. Good rates? Close to the airport? No. Well, then why? So you would see that your fiancé is playing you for the food. I don't believe you. Maybe y'all believe this. Ouch. Johnny? <clears throat> That's right, Amelia. I'm your fiancé's identical twin brother, Jimmy. Johnny. Johnny. Okay, so that's how you do that. Now I want to show you how to turn down a bed if he ever asks you to do something. What did he say? That's a little hotel humor. Lighten up, people, so we're here all day. I can barely understand what you're saying! Perry, I want to stay in a hotel. I want to live in a hotel. I want to be a uh, hotel manager. I want to be a major D. I want to be a bellhop. I want to be a waiter. I want to be a bell. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Have you seen Brendan? Uh, no, I haven't, Paula. Uh, you know, I, I remember my first field trip, uh, like yours. Uh, it was the aquarium. I was very nervous. Just me and 42 kids. Where is Brendan? <sighs> I was so afraid I was going to lose some, and, uh, they were running all over the place. <laughs> what happened? I lost some kids. <laughs> Kuris, this doesn't look right. It's all foam. It looks like soap suds. You forgot to put the espresso in. Well, why didn't you tell me? You have to learn for yourself. My girlfriend and I were born on the same exact day. Well, that's exciting. What day was that? D-Day? No. You're funny. Yes, I am. My boyfriend could get really jealous of you. Uh-huh. Look, little mama, let me tell you something, all right? I'm here to do my time, make my money, and that's it. I can't possibly get involved with a co-worker. That would be wrong. Plus, how old are you? 18. Well, I could potentially get involved with a co-worker. But why blackmail me and make me steal my father's diamonds worth $750 million? Because the owner of this hotel stole the hotel from my father when he was a young hotel guy at this hotel, and the papers to prove it are in the hotel safe, and some diamonds are in there too. Why? Tell me! Because I know your real identity, Amelia. You're the international jewel thief known as the Queen of Diamonds. How did you find out my secret identity? I don't know. But if you break into the safe, you can steal all that stuff and we can run away to South America or some other country. That is, if you love me, do you? Well, I... I... Whoa. Oh, no! It's Mr. Shock, my father's very own private private eye. He's been hiding in the bathroom and heard the whole thing. He must have followed me here to take the diamonds back and probably to turn you into the police. He's not a man you can reason with. Uh, I think you did a couple of my lines. Sorry. Everybody hide. What? What? Hide! Now you take uh, your TP and you fold this in first. Fenton, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. Shut up, I am not. You are, poor Fenton. I know. Shut up! It's just stupid toilet paper! Poor Fenton, poor Fenton, he can't do it. Okay, anything. okay, settle down, focus. Look at Mr. Lynch! It's on his shoe! <laughs> it's on his shoe. Oh my god. Yeah. I like your shoes. I like your shoes. We're gonna get in trouble. Oh, not. How do you turn on the, uh... Melissa, where's Jason? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Excuse me, do you mind? Someone's, someone's in here. Brendan, I can't take this anymore. Don't, I gotta no, get don't out of here. Stupid. Brendan, don't I'm sorry. Yeah! Hi there. Hi and hello. Uh, carry on. Uh, need more TP. Forty eight, forty nine, or fifty. <clears throat> that was only forty nine. No, that was a fifty. You didn't count the first one. No, I counted the first one. It was forty nine. Listen to me, you little punk. Uh, one. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> Has anyone seen Brendan or Melissa or Jason? Oh boy. Don't worry, we lose kids all the time. Hmm. This is the perfect place to shoot the final scene. Let's go back to the hotel. No, no, no. It, it, it's fine. Uh, plus, I have to pee, so. Hold your breath. Mm. Uh, I think it only works for hiccups. It works for pee, too. Oh my god. Is that Coach McGurk? He's robbing the place. Roll camera. 
Okay, again, one, two, three dollars and fifty-six, seven cents. There's your change. Have a nice day. Don't bother coming back next. You shouldn't say that to customers. It hurts their feelings. He's not robbing it. He's working here. Clarice, spare me. All right, the guy was a jerk. Handed me a five. He must have had two bucks, right? I'll have a double grande, half-calf, single-shot vanilla skin cappuccino for here. Coach McGurk, what are you doing here? Brendan. Why did he call you Coach McGurk? Uh, I don't know. He's probably retarded. Why does your name tag say Brendan Small? Because that's his name. See, my name tag says Clarice. But my boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Clarice, take a break. Hey, guys, guess what? I got the news. One of the hotel guests says the three kids who fit the description of the missing kids who are winning into the coffee shops. What? What? I said the kids are at next door at the coffee shop. Oh, thank God. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. Can I get my coffee? Lady, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the hell you ordered. How about a biscotti? Coach McGurk, I mean... I mean, Brendan, I, I really have to use the bathroom, so... Bathrooms are for customers only! But I'm, I'm too young to drink coffee, and if, and if I did, I'd have to pee more, so... Uh, no, Brendan, we should probably just start shooting. They're going to shoot you? It's a robbery! Hey, Brendan, what's going on? Well, Brendan, I'd like to film the big final scene of our movie here, but first I have to pee. Yeah, you know, Clarice, you mean shoot a movie. Brendan! What? what? Brendan, thank God you're all right! Who's she? My mother. I've been looking all over for you. Brendan, you know you're not supposed to uh, leave the group. You're going to have to be punished for this. Can I pee first? Brendan, I was so worried about you. Get over ah, here. Mom, no, don't touch me. I'm gonna, I have to really use Brendan, the bathroom. Brendan, listen to me. I don't want you you're running off like that pressing on my bladder. Again. I was worried sick. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I Mom, I, 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 I didn't know you worked here. Oh, now I have to pee. Hey, that is a guy I threw out of my hotel so last week. Oh, great. This is great. Coach McGurk, why does your name tag say Brendan? Wait a minute, everybody's calling you Coach McGurk. Your name isn't Brendan Small, you lied. You lied to me. I'm gonna tell the manager. I gotta pee, somebody this. This is crazy. Where just him. Where's my coffee? Lady, you're this not getting my Brendan my... Small. <laughs> This time, there's nowhere he can't go. In Spider-Man 2, the game, you have the freedom to go wherever you want, whenever you want. Use amazing new abilities to hop from blacktop to rooftop and save the city one crime at a time. Spider-Man 2, the game, rated T for Teen. When it seems like all is lost, when it feels as if you have no hope, when you are outnumbered, overpowered, and they've got you cornered, that's when you realize your last best hope is you. Halo Combat Evolved, rated M for Mature. Thank you. Bye. They found Allison. She was at the airport. She's fine. <sighs> Aunt, I'm awake. Yes. Are you watching me sleep, Walter? <laughs> yes. You're beautiful when you sleep. Watch me now. Okay. Shut your eyes. Shut my eyes. Oh, my God. It's beautiful. I knew we were going to get in trouble. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah. You should have seen the look on your face when those people walked in the room. <laughs> you were like... <laughs> That's me, all right. Yeah. You should have seen your face. You were like, oh. <laughs> and then uh, your face went like this. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then you were like this. Yeah, I'm going to look out the window for a while. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Hmm? You say something? <sighs>
and more TP. Adult swim. All kids out of the pool. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Chest. Then it was turpentine. Use the fan brush. Take more Thorazine. Fan brush. Yes. Good call. That's nice. And down here, I think we we'll have to put a happy little tree. A happy little tree. A happy little tree. Yes. I love you, man. I really wouldn't get too involved in that program. It's almost eight, and my friends are coming over to watch Babylon Five. See, I reserved it a week ago. It's a done deal. Les jeux sans pay. <laughs> the die is cast. Fine. Believe me, I've got better things to do on a Saturday night than watch TV. Mm. Hey, mm. wanna get sloshed? I have a date. But good idea. I'll get sloshed first. Mm. Hey, Posey, you wanna hang tonight? Sure, get your stuff, we're late. Where are we going? Potluck supper for my women's anger collective. They won't like it, but I'll say the salad is from both of us. Um, why don't you go ahead and I'll catch up later? Groovy, I'll see you there. Babylon 5! Babylon 5! No more talking, starting now. Standby. Hey, it's Andy. I know this is sort of last minute, but it looks like I've decided to go out tonight after all. So call me and. Oh, sorry. I just make plans to have last minute sex with somebody else. Time radio tapes. Hey, Andy, sure you don't want to join us? We've got ginger snaps. No, thanks. I've got some serious partying to do. Try not to accidentally nerd yourselves to death while I'm gone. Radio. Hi, Gus. Hey, kid. over it. Don't fuss. We've got to get you to a hospital. Eh, go to a hospital. Doctors always find something wrong with you. May I at least ask what happened? Eh, some punk attacked me on the bridge. Threw him over. Mm. Great pickle loaf sandwich, honey. May I at least... Stop badgering me! Andy, come on in. That was you. How you doing? Oh, hey, it's Jerry, right? Yeah, but my friends call me the Republican Vampire. <laughs> are you GOP, Andy? Uh, I'm not. I, I, I don't. The Repubs are cool, man. Let me tell you my philosophy vis-a-vis -vis our conservative friends. I follow Marilyn Manson, but I obey Rush Limbaugh. I hear him on the radio, and I just go. <laughs> Dance with me, Andy. <laughs> he won't let us remove the knife. There's nothing we can do. Yeah, I'm afraid there's no law against having a weapon stuck in your head. Fabulous. 
Hey, is everything okay? Awesome. I am absolutely at wit's end. Can you help? Mm -hmm. What's going on? Is that still Babylon 5? Hey, how do you play this thing? Uh, hey, hey. Andy, he's aiming at your proton accelerator! No coaching! It's me! me. Andy, your harvesters are hungry! Stop helping! You killed him. Mm. You blew up George's ship. <laughs> In your face, little man! Yippee! The brother's French saved the day! Yeah, no fair, right. he plays too erratically. Yes! I love you, Kevin! I love you! Really? Oh. You do? I'm going home. Yeah, go on, get out of here, losers! Losers! But I wasn't even playing! See you later, guys. The brother's French are going to hang for a while. Andy, you want to hear something weird? <laughs> Ever since I moved here, I kind of thought you hated me. But now, well, I know that was just an act. <laughs> so, you want to go do something tomorrow? Maybe see a movie? Mm, sure. Yeah, you got it. Thanks, bro. You're the best. Hmm. Mm. How about some last-minute sex, baby? Ah! Inmate, back in your cell. Everything's under control. <laughs> Suffering rated mature. Rated M for mature. Forget everything you think you know about Resident Evil. Resident Evil 4. Hey Andy, are you there, buddy? Hello? Shut up, Kevin. What? What? I'm up. What's happening? Ron's putting people's personal calls on the loudspeaker. No personal calls! You get personal call, everybody gonna hear! We all listen to your shame! Shame! Kevin, wh why are you calling me here? Just reminding you of our movie date tonight. What are you talking about? Oh, crap. Hey, everybody! Andy has movie date with some guy! Smoochie, smoochie! Sure, tonight, whatever. Look, don't call me here again. Okay. I love you. <laughs> oh, it's too crowded. Let's forget it. Of course it's crowded. Feminoid is only the most popular comic book in the sub-mainstream indie punk universe slash metaverse. Hi. Sorry I'm late, but I had to bring my stupid sister. <laughs> home from Polytech this week and my parents are forcing me to spend time with her. Quit your whining, Stinky. I am not Stinky. Stop saying that. Hi. You must be Kevin. Stinky here told me a lot about you. Ah, none of it bad, I trust. <laughs> Ooh, I see you're studying complementarity. Which construct of the universe do you subscribe to? Hmm, Boar is pretty cool, or Newcomb, but none of them really rocks my world. I might come in handy in that department. Andy French, at your service. Pleased to meet you. What's the big deal? Ain't you never seen a guy with a knife in his head? <laughs> Saints preserve us! Hey, Bub, your hat, where'd you get it? Y you like it? Take it. Uh, I can steal another one, no problemo. Can't talk. 
Mr. Mort Liquor and Bugles. Oh, sorry, we're all out of Bugles. Uh, how about the Mort Liquor and Toothpaste? Nah, I had that for breakfast. Say, is Tina here? Hey, Andy. Tina, hi. Look, um, I had a really good time last night, and I was wondering... Hello there, Tina. Uh, George, Toby, and I are going to Galacticon tomorrow, and I thought maybe we could all go. Galacticon? Isn't that your allergy medicine? <laughs> no, it's the big sci-fi convention. Would you like to come? I'd love to come. Help me in. Great. So we'll all go. <laughs> hey, buddy. I've got an idea. Why don't we have a big sleepover tonight before the con? You can invite all your friends. Stinky, the Blobster, Tina. Sure, you're helping me out more than you know. Hey, what are brothers for? You gonna wear that thing to bed, too? Never taking it off. Solves everything. Gus, covering the knife with a hat doesn't solve your problem. Hat, 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 knife, knife, knife. Can't you talk about something else? But it is affecting my life. Well, you're stuck with it. Unless you want to go out and find a guy without a knife in his head. In which case, good luck. Oh, and Tina, guess what? I also do a perfect ministry of silly walks. Andy, you'll enjoy this too. Okay, Kevin, time for bed. But we're all having such a great time, and it's only 10 o'clock. Well, we do have a big day tomorrow, and it is past George's bedtime. But I'm winning. Not anymore. <laughs> Good. Now, put on your jammies and hop into bed, you little monkey. Okay. Hey. Oh. No more water, Stinky. This sucks. <laughs> I've never slept next to a girl before, but I assure you I'm a perfect gentleman. It's okay, Kevin. I trust you. Oh, uh, going somewhere? Uh, do you need something? I'm just gonna go talk to Andy for a few minutes. I'll be right back. I'll wait for you. Two. How's it going? Boop, boop. Teet, teet. Hey, Posey, guess who I'm supposed to be? Agent Mulder from the X Files. Oh, oh, yes. Um, you look just like her. Bo Andy, who are you going as? A treacherous, perverted backstabber? What? Oh, I'm sorry. You wouldn't need a costume for that. What? How do I look? Tina, I must say, you make a beautiful Jordy LaForge. Thanks, Kevin. That's really sweet. Do you even know who Jordy LaForge is, Andy? Duh. He's that guy from Star Wars. I mean, Trek. Star Trek. Star Wars? He said Star Wars. A lot of good an expert in dilithium crystals is going to be in a universe of spaceships powered by hyperdrives. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, good morning, my love. Ow! Stop fussing. Yo, I'll show you fussing. So much fussing, you'll wish you'd never been born. <laughs> Who's manning America's libraries and software stores? Right, Tina? Uh -huh. Tina, may I pay for your ticket? Make it so. <laughs> hey! Damn Klingon. 
on. Come on, who wants an autograph? Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You don't have to be afraid of me. I'm just a woman. I, 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 I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah. <laughs> What the hell did you do to me? You're too much of a stubborn old ox to get rid of that knife. Maybe the prospect of being a huge public spectacle will change your mind. All that fuss? I'm not getting rid of the knife. Never! Ever seen two men hold hands before? Hello, I'm George Lucas. A broken hyperdrive has prevented me from joining you today, but please welcome my friend, Jimmy Briskin from the film, oh, Return of the Jedi. And may the Force be with you. I'm Jimmy Briskin. You might know me better as Ewok Villager Number Two from the hit film Return of the Jedi. Are there any questions? Uh, yeah. How, how'd you get, get away from me, you snake in the grass? What's wrong with you? You've been acting like Surly McDouchebag all day. Hey, can we just listen to the Ewok? Ugh, I'm moving. Uh, yes, I have a question. What was it like working with the master, George Lucas? Oh, it was unforgettable. We Ewoks danced and clapped until Mr. Lucas blew the whistle, signaling us to stop. And then he provided buses back to Studio City. Uh, what were your thoughts on, on the Phantom You Man pretended to be my friend just so you could steal Tina away from me. Tina? Yes, Tina. She's my girlfriend. I'm in love with her. You gotta be... Oh, man! Any more questions? Ooh, yes, I have one. Did any of the other Ewoks ever try to steal your girlfriend? Uh, uh no. Uh, Ewoks don't do things like that. Kevin, listen. She's not your girlfriend just because you like her. She has to like you back. And she's not your girlfriend because you're a pervert! Ouch! Help! An insane perverted lunatic is trying to kill me! Uh, oh, but please, don't fight. Hey, be like Ewoks. Everybody sing and clap. Face it, you never had a chance with her. Because you kept butting in. You didn't give me enough time to work my magic. Kevin, no woman on earth has that much time. Uh, halt! FBI! Oh, crap! You can't go into the employee's only zone! Stop this right now, or you're gonna get punished! You can't punish me! 
to talk listen I have to leave or I'll miss my train back to school but I just wanted to say I'm really disappointed in you mm. at first I thought you were really cute and that we had a lot in common but then I realized how immature you were which one is she talking to who cares maybe I'll give you a call next time I visit but you'd better get your act together and grow up a little see ya bye, bye. What are you saying bye for? She was talking to me. No, she wasn't. She was talking to me. You're insane. She was looking right at me. Excuse me. I've watched Next Generation for years. I think I know when Jordy LaForge is talking to me. Okay, maybe the immature part was you, but the cute part was definitely me. Why would she think you were cute? Unless she meant cute like a gnome or something. Hey, are those the kids who cause all the damage? Yes. But let them go. They must find their destiny. Jeremy, get in the car. You're going to be late for the orthodontist. one in here. Star Wars Battlefront Renegade Squadron. I like that. White Darth Vader PSP. Nice unit. Oh, collectible. That's great. Customize your weapons better you can. Dude, get your own. Star Wars Battlefront Entertainment Pack. <sighs> Sorry to call so late. It's just that Zoe won't stop crying, and I wondered if you had any ideas. Yeah, we still watch South Park. Because it's funny. Mom, I don't think Zoe's crying because we watch South Park. Okay, Mom, thanks. Goodbye. <sighs> How can Zoe cry like this every night? She just keeps on going. It's like a Springsteen concert. I don't know how much more of this we can take. Zo. So you have endured two weeks of unspeakable torture. Perhaps now you will tell us where the invasion is to take place. <laughs> There's a little housewarming gift for you. Compliments of Uncle Sam. I was hoping to spare you this, but... That wasn't so bad. The sun won't come up for a whole 26 minutes. <sighs> so you want to fool around? Are you sure? Yeah. It's important that we keep that fire burning. Okay, let's do it. One of us has to move. You lose. Okay. That is really impressive. I'm sorry I have to go to work. I know. I'd stay home if I could. I know. You don't have to be in such a hurry.
Hey, Dad, you want to hear a joke? No. What's brown and sounds like a bell? Rodney. Dong! <laughs> I told you I didn't want to hear a joke. If you disobey me one more time, I'm going to put your head in this vice, and I'm going to... Oh, hi, Wanda. Hi, Carl. Taking the day off? I have to stay home with Rodney. He was suspended again. I didn't do anything. It was a conspiracy. People do not conspire to frame an eight-year-old. They conspire to convince the country there was a moon landing. You were saying? Is Melinda home? No, she went to the... Uh, Dad. I am talking to Mrs. McPherson. I got a question. No! Just one! No! It's important! All right, all right. What's your question? Um, how many miles in the world? That is the stupidest question I ever heard! So you don't know? You can't know how many miles there are in the world. It doesn't make any sense. Okay! So, you, you want me to give Melinda a message? Oh, I, I, I guess I just wanted some help with Zoe. She's so fussy lately. Seems okay now. <laughs> and Zoe is giving Rodney a terrible beating. <laughs> His eyeball is hanging from the socket. Why don't they stop it? <laughs> Morning, Captain. Hi, Kenny. Oh, something wrong, buddy boy? What makes you think something's wrong? Well, there's the slightest hint of disquietude in that strong, manly baritone. Wife cut me off. All right, Kenny, you know what? You gotta leave Ooh, now. Ooh, touched a nerve. Out. Let me guess. Since the baby was born, you've had wild sex every... never? <sighs> you can tell Kenny. Kenny's crawled through that desert. Well, you know how it is. By the time we get Zoe to sleep, I'm so tired. Yeah, well, you better shake off that fatigue, Captain, before it's too late. Now, what's that mean? Come on, she's a new mom. Her hormone beater's in the red zone. So what, Wanda's gonna start having affairs? Those feelings gotta go somewhere. Oh, that is the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard. Thank you so much, Carl. Hey, glad to be of service. Daryl, I didn't expect you home so early. I'll bet you didn't. Hi, Daryl. Carl? <sighs> well, that was a deep, fulfilled sigh. It's such a nice surprise when you think someone's rough and crude and they turn out to be soft and gentle and loving. Do I want to hear this? Uh -oh. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Unreal. I'm back in high school watching the girl I like get all giggly over some loudmouth dumbass. She hasn't cried once all day. He's amazing. Oh, you like him too? Wanda, this is Rodney we're talking about. Oh, I'm saying... No, it's all it... right. Girls like jerky guys. I'm used to it. God loves you, honey. No, he has to. I want to have a baby. She's so happy playing with Rodney. Rodney's funny. Yeah, yeah, all the girls love Rodney. Well, it's his bedtime. God, I hate this. Every night, it's two hours of Carl yelling, go to bed. And Rodney says, one more question. And Carl says, it better not be a stupid question. And Rodney says, does Superman go to the bathroom? And this one starts <laughs> laughing, and Carl flips out, and I just hate it. <laughs> Bye, Wanda. Bye, Daryl. Don't you want us to tiptoe in and get him? Are you nuts? When your kids give you a break, you don't question it. You take it. Yeah, but he's sleeping in the crib. So what? Shelby still sleeps with one of my bras. Whatever gets you through the night. Come on, kids. What, Rodney? Quiet! Good news, Carl! Rodney's not coming home! <laughs> well... I guess it is just one night. And we can certainly use the break. Oh my gosh, it's only 7.30. We have the whole evening in front of us. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I want this night to last forever. Daryl, let's do this quick and take a nap. We are on exactly the same page. Hey, your daughter's still sleeping. What's for breakfast? That's the first time Zoe's ever slept through the night. <laughs> Yeah, it's great getting back in the crib. I sleep easier when I'm behind bars. So does society. 
So, what are we doing today? Uh, we're staying here and you're going home. But I like it here. Nobody yells at me, and Mrs. McPherson is pretty enough to be a movie star. Oh, Rodney, a movie star? Oh, that's so sweet. I can't compete. But you have to go home. Your parents miss you. Hey, Dad, you miss me! No! I miss you! Quiet! See? Sorry, Rodney. Zoe's gonna be real sad if I go. <laughs> well, thanks, little man, but I think we can handle it. <laughs> shoot me, Daryl. I'll give you a million dollars. Just shoot me. Hey, McParents. Oh, man. How can you guys stand that noise? Hey, Busy, how, how would you like to babysit for us tonight? Oh, darn, you know I can't tonight. You see, I've got this life. We'll pay you double. Headphones, can't hear ya. Bye. Okay, Zoe, here's the deal. If you stop crying for the next 18 years, you can eat candy and blow off school. <laughs> Going once, twice, well, the offer's on the table. We've tried everything but giving her whiskey. Hey. I checked, we're out. Oh. <sighs> At least we got some sleep last night. Last night was so nice. Rodney was here. I guess he's the only thing that settles her down. What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. I was stating a fact. That chair is blue. Dick Clark is a robot. Rodney was here. It's called conversation. Okay. Come on, Dad. One more joke. No. Knock, knock. Go to bed. Just do the joke, Carl. Uh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Yodelay. Yodelay he who? Hey, why are you yodeling? <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like she misses Rodney. Wait, where are you going with that? I'm not going anywhere. You said stating facts was conversation. I thought I'd give it a try. Okay. We got along great last night. Rodney, Rodney was, was here. here. One more. No. One. Bed. One. Carol. Okay, one more. You start. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> oh, that's it. That'll be Hello. I'm gonna get this belt. Really? I know it's a little peculiar, but if it's not too much trouble... I'm home. I didn't think our marriage would survive. It was really awful. Both of us kept everything pent up until one of us would just explode. Hey, stupid! What kind of a meal was that? You had a... Then we discovered Tekken 3. This is for 40 years of macaroni and cheese. That's for never saying I'm sorry. And this is for your mother. That's for the loser that you are, Patrick. Thank you, Tekken 3. PlayStation. And the troll said, I'm gonna come up on that bridge and eat you. And the third Billy Goat Gruff said, Come on up. <laughs> Payback time. <laughs> hey, family. Hi, sweetie. Hey. So what did you guys do today? We made a batch of cookies. There would have been more, but your wife kept eating the dough. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Wanda. <laughs> Rodney, you irrepressible scam. Uh, <sighs> well, 7 o'clock. Guess it's time for you and Zoe to hit the sack. Guess so. Oh, one more thing. This little setup we have is working real smooth. I was wondering what it's worth to you to keep it going. Are you extorting money from us? We could call it an allowance if you're more comfortable with that. Surely you didn't think something this good would stay free forever. Rodney, there is no way we're... Daryl, let's hear him out. Excellent. Now I'm going to write a number on this etch sketch These zeros are hard. 
you think about that, and we'll discuss it in the morning. This isn't weird, is it? What, Rodney? No. I mean, maybe a little unusual. Unusual, sure, but it's not harmful for Zoe, is it? Do you think it's harmful? Oh, no, of course not. I just wanted to put your mind at ease. Well, we should put a stop to it soon. Oh, yeah, very soon. I agree. Definitely. Mmm, that's good. By the way, you look great. <laughs> I've been working out while Zoe and Rodney take their afternoon nap. Oh, and that short story I've been fiddling around with since college? I finished it! Great! Hey, how about we have dinner, watch a movie, and then I read it while I catalog my baseball cards? You know, if we take Rodney away too suddenly, it might traumatize Zoe. Exactly. And besides, a happy parent is a happy child, right? Right. We'll ease out of it. Too easing. Captain. Kenny, come in, sit down. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's you. Wait a minute. Somebody got naked last night. Not my style to talk. Oh, look, McGuire scored three times yesterday. Look, it's all there if you want to count it. That's okay. I trust you. Night, Mr. McPherson. Night, Mom. <laughs> I mean, Mrs. McPherson. <gasps> oh! <sighs> Not a bad life, is it? Story time, easy flow bottles, sponge baths in the sink. You gotta enjoy it while you can. Now I know you're thinking, here comes an old man talking out of his butt. <sighs> I tell you, Z, time goes by quicker than you think. Left foot green. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. who's that? Surprise! Surprise! Honey, it's our parents. You didn't tell us you were coming. I oh, we just wanted to make sure you weren't screwing up our granddaughter. <laughs> Let's sneak in and take a look. No! Oh. You see, it, we, we just, uh, we, we painted her room. Uh. Her fumes, uh, the poisonous fumes. You'll pass out. Zoe's wearing a gas mask. So I guess you came all this way for nothing. Hey! Could you keep it down? Zoe and I are trying to sleep. Jeez! We know it's a little unusual, but it's not as if we planned it this way. Exactly. It just kind of happened. But you can see there's all sorts of benefits to having him here. Yeah, and Zoe's just a baby. A baby! It's not like she's going to remember any of this. Yeah, so this is a good thing. A good thing. <clears throat> Your infant daughter is sleeping with an eight-year-old. And you two are well-rested parents. With hobbies! Does that sound normal? Think what this could lead to. So, farther ahead. Zoe, why don't you tell us what you do remember? Well, I lost most of my memories in the shock treatments. Um, well, all I know is that someday I'm, I'm going to find my parents, and I am oh. going to kill them! Hey, I want to kill him. I said I am, Rodney. Oh, my God. What have we done? This is your fault. You brought him into our home. My fault? I never would have got hooked on Rodney if it wasn't for you. Hey, hey, you've taken the first step. You've admitted you have a problem. Now, 
Quit acting like Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman and get back to being miserable. But Rodney is part of our life. How could we give him up? There's only one way. Cold turkey. Boy, when that family circus guy lets his son draw the comic, it really sucks, huh? <laughs> you two are quiet this morning. We have a lot on our minds. Yeah, me too. I sketched out some ideas for additions to the crib. All these are just areas. Very broad brush. Rodney. Hey, everybody. Just brought over some of Rodney's things. His Christmas stocking? Stitching time. Hi, Dad. Hey, son. How's school? School's good. Okay. See you when I see you. Uh, Carl, wait. Rodney's got to go with you. He can't stay here anymore. What? what? So he has to learn to sleep alone. But I'm turning Rodney's room into a gym. We've made our decision. Daryl, I'm begging here, buddy. Please, reconsider. But look, this isn't easy for us either. We're sorry. Not as sorry as you're gonna be. Sure, you're feeling pretty strong right now. But how strong are you gonna be tonight when Zoe starts crying? Couple hours of that, you'll be begging for Rodney. Because you know Rodney can make the pain go away. Get your stuff, son. What for? I'll be back. Are we strong enough for this? Alone? No. Together? Maybe. a pretty picture. But it's over. Zoe went to sleep while you were hallucinating. How'd you do it? Well, I asked myself, what would Rodney do in this situation? And? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Isn't she beautiful? Like her mom. You know, it's been a long night, but I feel great. That's because we did the right thing. And going through this together really makes me feel close to you. More than a romantic dinner? Much more. Good night, Wanda. Good night, Daryl. Good night, Daryl. Dad, you want to hear a joke? No. I want to hear Ronnie's joke. Well, I don't. Just let him tell the joke, Carl. All right, all right. Tell it. Too late. What? You had your chance. Ah! Rodney! Okay. Did you hear about the sexy pirate movie? No. It's rated R.
Here's Officer Paper Mouse. Good morning, children. I guess you all know what the day after tomorrow is. Sure we do. It's the day I get to scare the pants off my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy. Well, that's right. It's Halloween, and as much fun as it is, it can also be very dangerous. You see, with all you kids running around wearing dark clothing and monster and devil masks that cover your whole face you all run into a serious risk of becoming devil worshippers, or even Buddhists. So when you go out trick-or-treating this Sunday, take an extra minute to do a little safety check on your costume. Make sure there are no horns, peace symbols, Star of Davids, or any rosaries on them. In fact, the funnest costumes are holy things like generic angels or cleanliness. You do that, and you'll have a happy and safe Halloween. Any questions? Doughy, is being a policeman scary? <laughs> no, son. I'm never scared when I'm out on the beat, and I'll tell you why. It's because I have the best darn team backing me up on those streets, officers God and Jesus. I know that God protects me from all danger and that Jesus guides my bullets straight into the brains and lungs of lawless slime. Pow, pow, pow! Oh. oh. Wow. Hey, Doey. Hey, Oral. You fellas want to go to the church's haunted house tomorrow night? It's only 25 cents if you wear a costume. I don't think I should go, Tommy. It might be full of monsters and devils. Ah, oh, don't be such a butterhead. It's good to go and be afraid of all that junk. That's true. Okay, I'll go. All right, yeah! Oh. Gee, I hope it's not too scary. Hope, do we? If you pray, you get your way. If you hope, the answer's nope. You're right. Booga booga booga! I now pronounce you black man and wife. <laughs> hey! ah! Wow, that was so scary, it was fun. I thought I was gonna get spooked to death. <laughs> Wasn't that fun, Arl? Not really. What's the matter? Too scary for you? Well, I don't think it was scary at all. Come on. What about the vampire? Gee, nothing's really scary when you have God on your side. I don't know, Oral. What about that irritated witch that jumped out of the coffin? Weren't you afraid she'd bite your throat out? No, because I knew the Lord would protect me. Even from being startled? Yeah. Well, it sure scared me. I want to go again. Me too. Let's go. Are you coming, Oral? Go ahead, Dewey. I'll sit this one out. <sighs> Gee, it's just impossible to be scared of something when your two best friends are Jesus and God. What can possibly frighten me with them on my side? Hmm, if I broke all those commandments, I'd definitely be scared. Oh but it's not really worth it for just one day of fun. Gosh, I wish there was a way to be scared of God just on Halloween and then have everything go back to normal. Kids, today is Halloween. Not exactly the highest of holy days, but nevertheless, when you take part in activities like egging or TPing my house, I should warn you that it will be counted as a sin and that just like a bulimic woman who feels the guilt of gorging that lithe, wafy body of hers, you too will feel an uncomfortable weight in the pit of the stomach of your conscience. Then you will say to yourselves, what is the finger of salvation that can be thrust into the gag reflex of my soul? 
There is only one answer to this dilemma. Repent. Sin today if you must, but repent tomorrow. Amen. Hot dog. This is going to be the scariest Halloween ever. I don't know, Oral. I don't think this is a good idea. You can't just break all Ten Commandments in one day. God's going to hate you. That's the point. What can be scarier than that? Then tomorrow, I'll just repent. And both him and Jesus will be back on my side again. Wow, you're right. Christianity sure is convenient. Why would God make it any other way? Oral, time to take out the garbage. Ain't gonna do it, Mom. Oral? Oh, I get it. Honor thy father and thy mother. What's that? Do it yourself, old lady. Oral, you're the only garbage around here, blah, Berta. You just wait till your father gets home. Yes. <laughs> Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's possessions. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not Deal. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Thou shalt not have any other gods, and thou shalt not worship any graven images. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt honor the Sabbath day. And you keep breaking commandments and you might get hit by lightning and I'm, I'm worried for your immortal soul, Oral. Okay, Dewey, enough of your problems. Huh? This is serious. I have one more commandment to break. <gasps> oh no, Oral, not kill. Aren't you scared enough yet? Let's see. Nope, I still feel God's love. Boy, I'm never going to be scared enough of God by tonight if I don't kill someone. I guess this Halloween is ruined. Poor Oral. What is wrong with you? After you, sir. Oh, why, thank you. What a good... Dad! Oral, what have you done? You killed him. I did? Oh, hooray! I did it! What has gotten into you, young man? First you're rude to your mother, and now this. Sounds like we need to reconvene in my study. <laughs> See you there! But, Dad, I was going to repent. Repent? Oh, um, well, that's different. You should have told me that before I gave you the old... I know. I tried, but I couldn't get a word in edgewise. Oh, <laughs> sorry. This baby's a little loud. Tell you what, let me call Reverend Putty and set you two up with a little chat. He should be able to unravel this moral rat's nest. Sorry to interrupt your dinner, Reverend. Company isn't an interruption, Oral. Just an occasional reminder of my involuntary solitude. Oh. Good. Yeah, good. So, I hear you've been breaking some pretty important rules out there. Yeah, ten to be exact. Mm-hmm. Look, we'd all like to break the Ten Commandments, son. Some commandments more than others. But they are there for a reason. I know. I just wanted an exciting Halloween, and I thought being scared of God would do the trick. My boy, God is scary enough without getting under his skin. I mean, think about it. He makes hurricanes, and diseases, and stress, and foreign cultures, and bees, and choking. Gee, he sure works in mysterious ways. He's not mysterious, Oral. He works in one way. Give him the opportunity, and he's gonna get you. But he's God, Reverend. Isn't everything he does good? <laughs> no, not by a long shot. Everything he does is right. But that's very different. 
Now, go do us all a favor and repent before you make the whole town go up in flames. I sure will. Bye, Reverend. And thanks. Now I know that God is the scariest monster of all on Halloween. Yes, but also remember that the Lord's terror is not just for one day. You must keep it in your heart all year round. You bet. Would you like some soft steak before you go? No, thanks. My mom's making meatloaf tonight. Sounds joyous. Sure is. <laughs> Bye. Plumber boy, mustache man, your worst nightmare has arrived. Pack up your stuff. I got a little surprise for you here. Check it out. What do you think about that? We got real time, 3D, lush organic environments. How's that make you feel, buddy? Feel a little like your days are numbered? I'm going to have to ask you to leave. You're hurting my elbow. Is that Italian? No, Bandicoot. It's an Australian name. <laughs> Fruity, these were like made for you. They'll accentuate your, um, mini package. Ew! I think I'm gonna be sick. I'd sure like to show her my package. Bro, this magazine's from 1962. This lady's mad old now. She probably wears diapers, has no teeth. <laughs> ah, now you're making me sick. What do you say, Mecca? Is this me? I don't think that's anybody. <laughs> Are you here for my delightful company, or could it possibly be the air conditioning? Hey, it's cheaper than a movie. You know, you guys could be hanging out at the beach or something instead of absorbing the odor of my mothballs. Jen's right. We should hit the beach. How about Coney Island? Coney Island? Yeah, the Ferris wheel, bumper cars, cotton candy. Thong bikinis, all types of women rubbing oil all over oh, each other. Oh, come on, you guys. It'll be so fun. Oh, damn. I forget how to get there. We take the B train, duh. You're wrong, Chaka. The R is fastest. Everybody knows that. What? Nah. You have to get the B at West 4th, and it's like, I don't know, like three stops. Girl, when you talk, makes sense. Hey, I think it all depends on what time of day it is, really. Who brought you into this, Matt? Hey, what's up your ass? Guys, can we, like, chill out, please? Easy now. Okay, if this is such a matter of personal pride, why not, you know, have a race, okay? And, you know, have a train race or something. Whoever loses has to walk around in one of these bathing suits I have deemed unfit for human <laughs> consumption. <laughs> Winner's choice. Battle of the sexes, yes! I'm gonna do you in Eddie Gordo style, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Jen, did you get the... Oh, hi. Hey, Alex, we're going to Coney Island. You wanna come? Alex? <laughs> He's afraid of jellyfish. <laughs> and women in thong bikinis. Thanks, sis. Anyway, I can't, because, you know, I've got stuff to do. I was just dropping by on my way to... You know, do stuff. Come on, you guys, it's already noon. Okay, last one's to Nathan's or Big Herbs. Let's go. You're going down like Nina Williams. Wow. <laughs> Let's roll, baby. <laughs> 
So, did you get it? Ooh, baby, yeah. Highest quality. I got connections. All right. Mm -hmm. So, can we get it on here? Oh, come on, are you crazy? <laughs> and get fired? I'll get fired! There's no way I'm going to jeopardize my job for some cheap thrill. Sorry. We'll go over to your place. You are such a conscientious worker. Thank you. Is the R really faster? I don't know. So why'd you say it was? Chaka thinks she's so smart. You both think you're smart. You're both wrong, though. Look, right here, man, right here on the map. Look, the N is best, right here, bro. Look, we sit on that, and we can't lose. Damn, man, you really blow me away. It was a year before I even knew this thing was a map. Sucker, here it comes. We can sit back and relax. Victory is ours. Damn, man, I can't wait. It's one of those topless jobs from the 60s. Chaka's gonna freak. We should pick up a camera. We've been waiting like a billion years for this stupid B train to come. Come on, what's the problem? This is the fastest way, right? I don't know. Then why did you say it was? Fruity thinks he's so smart. Finally, it's about time. We can't take it, it's an F. Damn it! Isn't this the wrong train? Who cares? Every train is a big corny island anyway. Are you sure? Yeah. So, break it out. Dinosaur dentist, a classic. He has got all his teeth. You first? Okay, bitch, you get in the root canal. Nate, <sighs> your turn. Okay. Focus, focus. Don't you. You are not. I'm gonna bite your hand. Shh. Yes, I am the king of the world. I am going to Disneyland. <laughs> I love playing games. I love it. What would you say is your favorite game of all time? What's the best game? Hmm. Pass the orange. <laughs> That's not a game. That's it's it's a perversion. <laughs> well, it qualifies as something. I admit it may not have the groundbreaking graphics of Final Fantasy, but it's cheap and simple and provides opportunity for physical contact with like cute near strangers. Oh right, girls, yeah. Like you could handle that. Like, when we were at that party, remember, on Beth Berger's roof, and you had to pass the orange to me? And then you dropped it on purpose. I was doing you a favor, baby. I could tell you had it bad for Beth. <laughs> Damn your evil machinations. Oh. You did it just to torture me. I was simultaneously in heaven and in hell. So then it was inevitable that Beth and Brett hook up. And live annoyingly ever after. So why did you run away like that? You got shy all of a sudden? <laughs> um, something like that. I, uh, got a, I, mm. you know, yeah. Did Alex get a little boner? We stay on until the last stop. That's Stillwell Avenue, okay? You're my brazen. That sounds like sex. Oh, sweat, Matt, Matt, look. I'm serious. I'm gonna marry that girl. You know, before you make a big decision like this, you might want to check out the bus. Hi, could you help me? I'm supposed to meet a friend in some place called uh, Coney Island. I could walk faster. Quick, let's get the B. Crap, we are so screwed. Hurry, get back on the app. Wait! Hold the door, mister! <laughs> 
Xbox Live, plus Top Spin Tennis, and Amp 2 from Microsoft Game Studios. Xbox, it's good to play together. Get it at EB Games. It looks good on you, but it will look better balled up in the corner of my room. Do you have a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. Do fries come with that shake? Because I'm feeling greasy. So you're saying it's not really an island? They just call it Coney Island. It's part of Brooklyn. This is really messing with my reality. Now Gilligan's Island, that's a real island, right? And Thousand Islands dressing, what's up with that? <laughs> Do you believe in fate? No. I believe I have to go. Hey, wait up. This is my stop, too. Come on, man. Come on. I'm getting off. No way. Remember the plan. Don't mess up the plan. What's wrong with you? I'm missing my big chance here. We'll take the R or something. What's the difference? Don't flake out on me, Fruity. I'm not gonna end up in no Spider-Man underoos. Hey, you forgot to trade numbers. I don't think so. Little mama's boy. Damn, horn dog. We should stop and look at a map. The guys are gonna win. The M train? What the hell's that? I think it goes to Mars. Oh, 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 oh. not funny. It's not even supposed to be here. Whatever, we're getting on. Let the game begin. When he eats my balls, I win. I have got to beat. Cause my balls, he loves to eat. That last one doesn't count towards your total. You were supposed to throw a pink and you threw a green. What are you talking about? Give me a break. And you've been keeping score all wrong from the beginning. <laughs> you marked yourself for a triple blast all when you only got a double dare you. And the diagram... Wait, uh, hold it. Hold it. Let's just take a step back, okay? What's the matter? What we're doing, it's not normal. You know what I'm saying? And you're right. This is pitiful. Yeah. I mean, come on, look at us. Just... Look at us. Is this how normal adult human beings should be living their lives? No, I'm ashamed. We should be doing something that requires a bit more maturity. That's 30 points! Oh, do you think they'll actually make us wear one of those stupid, ugly bathing suits? Mecca, we're gonna win. This train is going like mad miles an hour. You saying, like, I don't know what I'm doing or something? No, not really. It's just that, you know how you are. Sometimes you just sort of jump into things. Look, honey, if I didn't take a risk once in a while, we wouldn't, like, even know Matt and Fruity in the first place. So? I was the one dancing in the fountain in Washington Square Park that day. And looking really hot. 
to all the guys checking me out. Matt and Fruity especially. They were probably just trying to get the nerve up to talk to me or whatever, but... Yeah, they sure were staring at you. Who's the dork on the skateboard? Ew, and where'd his friend get that haircut? Kmart? I was working up some fancy moves, and I guess it was my impressive skateboard technique that attracted the ladies. Because I swear, man, right then, I saw Chaka and Mecca just scheming at me all out. Forget it. She's really flat, man, like an ironing board. You never know. Some girls start late. But man, I'm in a hurry. Impressive skateboard techniques. You got a warped memory, man. I got another one! My antenna's messed up. No excuses. I got six pollen pellets. How many do you have? Shut up. Do you have any? Shut up! Whoa! Did I touch a nerve? <laughs> Guess so. She had a gorgeous face, man. Symmetrical. Everything corresponded with her body. And I lost out because of your precious plan, Professor X. You should loosen up, bro. Hey, if it wasn't for me, your horny ass would get us into all sorts of trouble. You gotta keep a cool head to get by in the city, man. Look, did I tell you about the other day when I was on a D going downtown? All right, look, some guy is pushing through as the doors are closing. Get out? Uh-huh. He must have been in some kind of rush. Because he's yanking himself through the door, you know, pushing everybody out the way. And this gun falls out of his jacket. Falls right there on the floor, man, in front of everybody. Get out of here. Yeah, man, look, everybody runs out the car into the next one. And I'm there, I'm there by myself, man, because I didn't know what to do. I was like, whoa, right? And then, like, I don't know, he has this, he's coming right at me. He has this, like, weird look in his face, you know? Like, and I'm scared, man, because he looked crazy. <laughs> he sits down next to me. I can feel his knee against mine. I can smell his breath. It's bad breath, man, right? I'm thinking, be cool, be cool, man. Don't let on that you're free. You know, because I was pretty scared, man. Yeah. And he looks at me. He says, Wanna buy a gun? <laughs> yeah, man. So I was like, you know, trying to be smooth. I was like, yeah, man, I just bought one on the A train. Damn, Maddie, you're one lucky boy. I hope it's catching here. Come come here, let me let me rub your belly Dude, for get good Get off luck. my belly, man. Don't touch my... That's Buddha's belly you're supposed to rub, not mine. Damn. Due to construction, Avenue U will be the last stop on this entry. End of the line. Everybody off. Man, your plan really sucks. to see Fruity hanging in the breeze. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't that that loser who didn't hold the door for us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Chaka! <laughs> Hands up, ladies. Oh, my God! First place? Um, no. <sighs> Mega, the thing with guys is, all right, they're gonna walk all over you if you don't like take a stand for yourself. You know, even when you're wrong. Are you kidding me, girl? Especially when you're wrong. You don't want to look vulnerable in front of anybody. Sure, I guess that makes some kind of weird warped chaka world sense. Ah, you gotta like train a guy. A guy isn't a dog. True that. But when you cut off a dog's nest, they call you socially responsible. Wow, we're really moving. Maybe we will win after all. Hey, why are we at Prince Street? What do you mean? Oh, I can't believe it! We're in Manhattan! Oh. We went the wrong way! Oh! oh. You never leave a man behind. I'm going in. Cover me. Watch it! Hey, you did that on purpose. And what if I did? But you're a big cheater. Cheater? You can't stand to lose, can you? You are so serious. Oh my god, I didn't follow the rules. It's the end of the world. Oh, now I'm seeing the real Jen, a sneaky, conniving bitch. I was enjoying myself until you turned into the Rudy Giuliani of board games. God, you're difficult. No wonder you don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
about you? What girl in their right mind would go out with a tight ass control freak? Uh, I'll take that back or I'm leaving. A guy who needs to check the rule book before he takes a piss. I checked the book once. A guy who takes a Polaroid of the Monopoly board when he leaves the room just to keep things honest. Oh, so now you're against honesty. And what if the only woman in your life is Miss July? And when was the last time you went out on a normal date, huh? No wonder you're hiding out here playing kitty games all weekend. Loser! Oh, you're the loser. No, you're a loser! You no, know you're the loser! loser. I don't even have to loser. bother screaming. I know loser. you're a big loser! loser. <sighs> How about a round of tiny, tiny tadpole? You're on! It. Damn! Great. That really adds to the day. God, we, we are some poor ass suckers, man. Well, at least we're in the right borough. How could a train line just end like that in the middle of nowhere? We'll never beat the girls now. I better get ready to walk down the beach in spandex panties. I'll be there too, you know. Yeah, damn right, because if we had switched when I wanted to, not only would we be there by now, but I could have gotten with that cutie on the train. Oh no, not again. Mind overboard. I would have worked her. And she would have been all over me. It would have been fat. And on Saturday night, I'd go out with this hot gal on my arm. And because I'd be with such a beautiful looking woman, all the other women would want to be with me. Me alone. And it would go on and on and on in an escalating manner. Really? Yeah. And I'd be going, there's plenty of me to go around, girls, and getting my freak on with them on the dance floor. <laughs> but of course, though, when it's time to decide who to go home with, I would carefully consider the possibilities. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a papi chulo. You know, you gotta, you gotta sort them out right. You know, choosing one or two or maybe even three of the finest. I can't be greedy. Oh, bro, I think I can see your head growing. <laughs> Damn! Just when it was getting good. <laughs> Listen, Captain Suave, we're not gonna let ourselves be emasculated. No way. What? It's kind of like castrated, but not as bad. If it's anything like castrated, it's bad enough. Look, we can do this, man. We're guys, we're strong, we're determined. We're wearing cross trainers. Yeah! Come on, it's only 20 more blocks. Let's run. Let's bounce, cowboy. Girl, I like the way you spin. Mm, thank you. Well, I've never been with a guy who rolls doubles the way you can. Over and over. Well, you know I saved that for you, right? <laughs> I know. It was unbelievable. You think you could do it again, big boy? I don't know. Can you handle it? I think so. Are you ready? <laughs> you ready for some more? <laughs> I could really go for some Uncle Wiggly. Whew. I think I need 10 minutes. No problem. I'm hungry. I'm gonna be masculated. You wanna congratulate me, you, wanna congratulate me Look, you won't believe what happened to us. I don't care. You lost. But there were extenuating circumstances. Hold up. Let me say it again. You lost. <laughs> mm, I should have waxed. Man, I feel the fool. My manhood's spinning. And what's with your tag on my shirt, minus? <laughs> oh, no. You two again. Are you following me? Wait, I mean, what the? First you're in the subway station, then you moon me on the train, then you nearly run me down in that taxi over by the cyclone. Ah, uh, you took a taxi. Uh, I think you are fatly mistaken, sir. Oh, yeah? Well, then am I mistaken about the birthmark on your left cheek? She doesn't have a birthmark. <laughs> Not that cheek. Oh. Why you no account, no rent, backstabbing, front ass, cab taking, foul ass, chicken heads? Oh, you, you big fat dumb guy! You don't even have a brain in your oh, head to deal with. I didn't punk ass. She, she had the idea. Yes, whatever. Yes, they were probably eating fruit loops. Why are you so interested in my name? Ah, you like this? Buy me a hot dog.
midnight or later. Kumar. What is that, like five O's or two U's? If you've ever been picked on. They're having a good old American names like Dave, you know? Harold, put down. Have you seen a Korean guy around here? Yeah, only when I open my eyes, though. Harold! Go, go, go! And misunderstood. I'm telling you, those guys love crunching numbers. Probably just made his weekend. And we have a movie for you from the director of. Dude, where's my car? Tomorrow, see what all the buzz is about. Well, what are you in here for? For being black. And I have two gay fathers. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Rated R. Starts to. Thank you for being a friend. What's your ball? Go! Get it going! Again. What is that? Your heart is true. You're a pal and a coast of dust. And if you're through a party, take your time, guys. Thank you for being a friend. Command Robot Friends now fit for this world. Rated D for Team.